Now more than ever, time is of the essence with the Halo franchise. We waited six years from Halo 5's launch to Halo Infinite. Now with 343 shifting away from Infinite to whatever Halo project they're working on, the most important thing that 343 needs to consider is time. The Halo community can't wait another six years for another Halo title. Given that 343 are working in Unreal Engine 5 according to insider information and LinkedIn profiles from 343 employees, so once again working in a new engine, what would you do to have a new Halo game out as soon as possible and what concessions would you make to that game? I discussed that with Halo lore YouTuber Hidden Xperia. If you enjoyed these type of discussion videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It's always appreciated and the full video will be linked at the end of this one. Time is of the essence to get something new out for people to Absolutely. play around with and just get past infinite right now at the moment. I uh, yeah, no, I couldn't agree more with that. I, I think time is absolutely of the essence because like, regardless of the kind of comeback journey that Infinite has been on, the broader audience don't care. Mm -hmm. um, the, the wider general game population don't care or they'd be playing the game right now. Um, you only capture that audience with a brand new game. Once that brand new game comes out, you either keep them by having a good launch or you lose them. And there are, yes, examples of games that lose them and then get them back. Everyone always says like, oh, the Apex Revival, but like, how many games haven't had an Apex Revival, right? Like, you you really only have launch to capture that audience. And if you don't get them there, they're on to the next thing. I mean, exactly. there's so many games nowadays for them to play. And because of Game Pass and stuff like that, there's like the barriers to entry is literally nothing at this point. So people can pick up and drop a game like that and they will do and if a game doesn't satisfy them like immediately i mean hell i'm guilty of this i've done this game the games before like i've been not i wouldn't say hype for games but i've been like intrigued in a game and i've downloaded it on game pass and i've played it and literally like half an hour in i've been like nah i'm all right and i close it and never open it again that's what most people are like that i've got friends in real life that do it all the time with games they'll play it for like 20 minutes and be like nah i'm all right and go back to whatever they were playing before and mm. i think that is what the general audience is like if you don't get them at the start you're never going to get them so uh, that's reason one of three three million why i would like uh <laughs> a, a new halo game stat everything that's been coming to halo infinite has been you know great improvements like you know firefly coming into the game they got a new networking model in the works right now new maps modes things like that but that's all just kind of like to satiate the current player base like nothing to really get people excited that are outside of the halo sphere i guess you want to call our community to get them excited to jump back in because i think the only thing that would do that would really be like a new campaign which yeah. you know we're not getting anytime soon <laughs> we should have but why not <laughs> so which also kind of makes you think like if it's going to be like a fast turnaround for the next game say like within like two years right like 2026 or something we get the new halo game would you be okay with it being like a multiplayer only game or maybe like a standalone campaign thing? What would be like a kind of trade off you would make for the sacrifice of time? Oh, for me right now, absolutely do a single player only campaign, like a single player only game. I am so burnt out from Halo multiplayer now. I feel like we've just been beating around the head with it now for so long and everything else has been just left by the wayside. Like I'm, I'm so tired of Halo multiplayer at this point. I don't, I don't dislike it. I don't want it to go away permanently, but I'm just tired of it. I want something different that's not multiplayer. Halo is long, 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 long overdue. Uh, I was going to say another because technically ODST kind of was this, but also kind of not. Well, long overdue, just a single player, narrative driven, maybe 20 hour long campaign game that is focused only on campaign and narrative and co-op as well, I'd say. I, I mean, Halo and co-op go hand in hand, right? Like. I can't believe it's never happened. I mean, again, I've said this a billion times on my channel, but how in the hell has a Johnson spin-off game never happened? An Arbiter spin-off game never happened? A Flood Survival Horror game never happened? I genuinely, I, I feel like a broken record. My, I can feel the record in my skull getting stuck. <laughs> but like, I, I, yeah, I still say it. Like, I, I don't understand how this hasn't happened. And I feel like now is, I mean, it's been the perfect time to do that now for like 15 years, but now is the perfect, perfect time to do something like that because Halo needs a, doesn't need a break from multiplayer. I don't, want, I don't want it to sound like I want multiplayer to be sunsetted or just like thrown by the wayside for years, but I just want campaign to get the same focus that multiplayer gets. I think it deserves it. I think not doing it is a massive misallocation of resources, frankly, because People don't realize that there's a huge audience of people out there who only play Halo for campaign. They only play Halo so they can 
play through the story, play through the campaign with the buddies or whatever, and that's it. Like, a lot of people don't play PvP multiplayer. A lot of people do, but a lot of people also don't. And that, that demographic are just being ignored right now, completely flat out ignored. And I don't get why Halo has not tried to tap into that yet. I'm really hoping that happens at some point soon. And back to your original point, I'm hoping that comes in the form of spin-off. Like, dude, if we got like a Resident Evil style flood survival horror game, I mean, I don't think I need to tell you how what, what my reaction would be if that was done right. <laughs> Christ almighty. That'd be Christ. more that'd be a bigger reaction than the the ending of Mendicant Bias being mentioned at the end of Halo oh, Infinite. <laughs> bro, that that would make that reaction look like me going downstairs and getting dinner. <laughs> Like a Halo story, you can really just, it's easy. It's a, I think it's an easy win to just to get the general audience involved with uh, the Halo yeah. franchise again. And also just that I feel with the Halo side of things that like a 4v4 multiplayer, uh, AVA big team battle thing is, it's, it's, even though they're fun, it's great. We've just been playing it for 20 plus years now that I, we just need something crazy new and exciting. And if you're just going to release a Halo game, that's just going to be like, Big Team Battle and 4v4, which still definitely need to be there for sure, but just something new that but plays yeah. off of like the fundamentals that were found made with Infinite, which I thought were fantastic. But it just we need something different to do than just you know getting like a high score Team Slayer match, you know. I no, I agree entirely. Um, I think one of the things when you look at a lot of a lot of um, modern popular genres right now, a lot of the focus is on like overcoming extreme odds. So like you look at Battle Royale and it's technically like one versus 150, or you look at extraction shooters and it's kind of the same sort of vibe. I think Halo needs a mode that's that's like that. And I'm not saying Halo, Halo needs a Battle Royale because frankly, I don't think that would have helped it with Infinite at all. Um, I think that would have just done even more harm to the game because it would have been even more <laughs> eyes on a game that's broken and finished um, if that had launched with the game. But I think Halo needs some kind of, like you said, a, a big mode, I don't know what that is, what that entails, but something that has you on the edge of your seat in a way that like Team Slayer or whatever doesn't. Like like you said, I agree completely with what you said that like those things need to be if you're doing a Halo multiplayer that's like a main game, if it's a spin-off game, like fair enough. It doesn't have to be that, it's fine. Spin-offs are meant for experimentation and trying new things. But if it's a main game, you need Team Slayer, you need big team, you need uh team doubles, team snipers, yada yada, you need that stuff, right? But there needs to be something big. Like, that's why I was amazed that Infinite didn't have a big third mode. I, I can't believe it had nothing. Like, literally just nothing. Like, I don't really like Warzone, but at least Halo 5 had Warzone, right? It had something that it tried to do to push the boat out a little bit. Um, I always wanted, like, a really, really large-scale Dominion, more so than Warzone. Oh, uh, yeah. I still think Domi Dominion in Halo 4 was massively underrated. Like, the, the base-building aspects of that, although they were, like, kind of small, that concept should have been massively expanded upon and that's that's i think that's waiting to happen I, I think that's the kind of thing that they should be doing for a big third mode honestly not a battle royale i mean i would be down for an extra action shooter i would be hesitant to see how they do it with halo but i'd be down for it but i think the safer bet would be like a huge large scale like battlefield scale dominion type thing where it's like base building you can fly like ships you can fly corvettes you can get in ground vehicle like, like you said halo wars but in a first person shooter that yeah. kind of vibe is <laughs> i think would go down a treat for halo personally but yeah like i said like just something fresh and exciting is what definitely what's needed and uh, like a, like i said like some kind of story element is just like a, a universal win easy easy yeah. dub for 343 to kind of put together but to put together all together within a two or three year cycle with how 343's been working and potentially working in a new engine again. Yeah. We'll we'll have to wait and see as we do with uh, it, the Halo community. A, <laughs> yeah, it's a tight schedule to put it lightly. 